Good morning. This is Good News Friday. You know, I think it's becoming a thing to be politically incorrect. People speak up, more and more people, and I think they get the right kind of attention for it. So, there's more and more people who wants to be the same. <laughs> yeah, sort of uh, ex exciting to be politically incorrect. <laughs> so, um, yeah, we need them, of course. We need more and more people to do this. We have um, an example in Sweden right now. He's the former CEO of Scania. They produce trucks. He's a big guy, big shot, top executive. And he's been there before. He said some things. And media, they hate him. And now he did it again. He was talking about immigrants from Africa and the Middle East. And now media is trying to kill him, basically. Now he, he doesn't seem to care. That's the thing. Yeah. He just speaks. <laughs> ah, I love it. So I have some more examples of this. Uh, the Australian Home Affairs Minister, Peter Dutton. Great guy. He wants these climate activists to cover the costs of police responses to these protests. Good idea, I think. So this guy, Dutton, he previously called for protesters to be publicly shamed and stripped of their welfare payments. Yeah. And he called on the states to act after a week of anti-mining demonstrations in Melbourne. And he said, we don't have 150 police just sitting around in Melbourne or Brisbane or Sydney waiting to respond to these people who spontaneously pull these stunts together. He said, these police are being diverted away from other activities and there should be a price to pay for that. Yeah. Uh, this is a sane guy, I think. Yeah. Congratulations, Australia. Here's another example. Piers Morgan. Yeah. <laughs> He's the co-anchor of the ITV breakfast program, Good Morning Britain. I don't know much about this guy, but every time I listen to him, I kind of like him. And this is brilliant. You know, he was, he's been attacked. They want to remove him because of his dangerous dehumanization of transgender and non-binary people. And this is uh, priceless, this, re this response from Piers Morgan. He tweeted, he said, You can't remove me. I'm currently identifying as a penguin. <laughs> so it would be uh, animal cruelty. <laughs> yeah. I love these guys. This is great. Uh, finally, I have uh, a different kind of thing coming from Jeremy Corbyn. He tweeted that they should let the people decide UK's future. <laughs> I think he did tweet this in the past. I think so. I kind of remember this. So this could be the second time he tweets this. Maybe he got some likes the last time. So he thought, yeah, I'll do it again. You know, it was a great, powerful tweet. <laughs> what a jerk. Oh, so um, he did it again. Now the thing is, of course, that they already asked the UK citizens to to vote, you know, to decide. Yeah, they already did it three years ago, more than three years ago. What a what a jerk! All right, that's all. Be good and have a great weekend. Bye.